and every part of my body was in place. Many people died and never saw this day. So another day I live, I appreciate. Don't ever wanna act too high and mighty, cause tomorrow I can fall down on my face. So in everything, I right, folks. Good morning and welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. It is Monday, August 14, middle of the month, the start of the week. It is a beautiful day, a great morning. And we thank God we're here. We welcome our friends on OneSpotMedia.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat at Smile Jam TVJ, and also on television, Jamaica.com. Start of the week, time to go, time to get up. Tune. Happy Monday. What a weekend. Yeah, why? What a world championship. Oh my gosh. What a world championship. Woo! Not only for Jamaica, by the way, for uh, many other athletes and countries Mo Farah lost for the first time in a long, long, long time. But we'll be talking more about that in our hot topics, we're more about the world championships. Um, uh, yeah. Had a good weekend? Yes. I'm rested and ready to take it to them this week. Oh. A taxi so. man hit my car on Saturday. It's a beautiful day. Well, I mean, thank God no one, no one got hurt. Right, so it's a beautiful it day. It was also funny that there was a lady in, in the taxi, obviously a Christian, <laughs> kept telling me to calm down and he didn't do it on purpose and everything will be all right. Um, I was a little annoyed, so, so she kept talking and I, I kept just looking at her and I never said a word. Um, and then when it got everything done and got his papers and everything, I'm walking away and she says, Neville, and I go like that, and she says, remember it happened on the Sabbath. So it's okay. I'm not too it's a certain beautiful day. The <laughs> car outside mash up, but don't you walk out here? Yeah? No, it's, it's good. Good to go? Uh, the taxi, taxi man, man it, said it, he never, he yeah, it, it happened fast. at the, the fire station in Halfway Tree. So he pulls into the fire station to let off someone. He starts to come out, and I'm coming. I pass him, and then I hear, boom. He thought he were gone. So I come out, and... It's over my the back right hand wheel. Um, so I come out and I say, so Bridget, you couldn't wait till I pass him. So the boss me thinking it passed still, you know. Hello? Well, at least he looked before he pulled out. Because usually when they passed? pull off the road to let off people, they just pull out. It don't matter who is coming. Bus, truck, it don't matter. Incredible. Just... Then, of course, everybody had to come out and never. <laughs> Incredible. That's me very annoyed. The man lick up my car. My poor little car. Could have been chip worse. Up, don't, up, worry. Don't, so, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Anyway, as I said, thank goodness no one got hurt. And that that lady. <laughs> Maybe she had to calm you. I was. Don't need to worry. Right. Um, I didn't understand what it means by it happened on the Sabbath. That, which means, I still don't understand what that means. It means that it was a special day because God was looking out for you on his special day. I don't know, Nev. I wasn't the lady in the taxi. I'm just trying to offer <laughs> an explanation. I'm not sure. Anyway, as I but said. But the important part yeah, of it is that yeah, it could have been worse. It was not been worse. worse. And, yeah. It could have been much, much worse. And you're OK. Let's All right. go down today. Say good morning to our friends on social media. Did you do that? I did that. OK. All right, just I checking. I did that also. All right. Yeah. No, I didn't have any accidents. No, I have no stories to tell. No, but I did that already, too, so I don't understand. Yeah. It. And she responded, so. Uh, yeah. So, so we can move up to what's going on on the show. Well, make with them if you want. Um, okay then. <laughs> so this morning, it is a wrap on the IAAF World Championships and what a championships it were. We're going to touch all of it, well, most of it in our hot topics. Plus we're going to break it all down a little later on. Then we leave the track and head to the doctor's office when we explore the cause of the coconut lethal yellowing disease. All right, we'll be showing you how to bake a traditional Jamaican toto. We will? You know if you bake toto? I don't know what is a toto. I know, I think I know what is a toto. I can take that back. Yeah. Well, show me. 
<laughs> I don't think I know what it is. I think if I see it, I, I know, know I have no words. I can't remember I don't know it. Know it. Don't know but we'll also give you the details of no the words. City of Kingston. City of Kingston Cooperative Credit Union Back to School Fair. Dyslexia? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one looked like it was an obstacle course. So you don't know about Toto? <laughs> I know a Toto, but I can't remember what it looked like. And Google Toto. I want to know. Stop trouble me. Tell me. Transform your wardrobe this summer. We'll be showing you a thing or two, or maybe three. And yeah, I know what is a Toto. Say Toto, dear. Yeah. So let me just Google it and see what is a Toto. Make that. A Toto that. Yeah, so I know what's a total. I told you I knew what a total. I no, just no, remember. you said you didn't know. No, I said I know what is a total, but I just can't remember how it looked, but I remember now. <laughs> Come and look funny. <laughs> you know, when they make it so like me or win some cries or something, if we know what a total is and I know what that she is, me will get some reward or something. No, no, it's just that, you know, you're Jamaican. I am. So. Born and bred. I think you lived in Canada a little too long. Yeah, but you see, I had a mama who just never allowed me to do anything. She just wanted to do everything, even as an adult. I sure my belly used to make total gear. That's why I say, even as so, an adult, don't I don't even use her the, as an excuse. I'd walk in the house and if I open the fridge, she said, What you want? I said, I just kind of hungry. She says, Well, I'll get it. And she said, So go sit down. I said, I'm push my mother out of the house and say, No, I want to do it myself. Why? I said, Okay. Anyway. And some things, ladies and gentlemen, never change. Time for some. Quiet Hold on. Then? Wait, wait, wait. Quiet I'm getting no. a call from the great Simon Kraskin. Yes, I'm sure you know that. The put him on team. speaker. Can I put you on speaker? Put him on speaker. Hello? I want to, even though him have to go on. <laughs> That's him here, speaker. Him yes, up. man. Can I watch him up the same <laughs> can't talk it, make everybody hear. Time for some hot topics <laughs> on Crossbill. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well. <laughs> Go on now? I don't know. So they say they had them in the holding area for how long? 45 this minutes? Says, the race started 10 minutes later than planned, with the teams being held up in the warm-up area for nearly 30 minutes before they were able to run. It goes on to say it was 40 minutes and two medal presentations before our run, says Johan Blake. We kept warming up and waiting, then warming up and waiting. I think it got the better of us. We were over warm. And to see a true legend, a true champion go up there and struggling like that, the race was 10 minutes late. We were kept 40 minutes and it was a 300 meter walk. It was just crazy. They're talking about the fact that you're saying, um, we're told now suffered a cramp, which is much better news than had he torn a muscle. Yes, yeah, quite. Um, so it's Dr. Jones said, this is Dr. Kevin Jones. The Jamaican team medic, it says it's a cramp in his left hamstring, but a lot of pain is from disappointment from losing the race. He says the last three weeks have been hard for him. We hope for the best for him. However, all right then, hmm. Omawale, his other two sprint teammates, Omar McLeod and Julian Fort, were in agreement with Blake that 30-year-old boat's final farewell had been doomed to fail because of the de delays. Oh, there you go. Well, he did say to one of them, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that we're around yep. here um, for so long. It was so hard to watch him go down. I was, I mean, lots of people just stunned, stunned. People were sitting there minutes after the race. Seen that. It was just, it was so hard to watch. I no, cannot I was, yeah, imagine. I, was, I agree, but I was thinking about it, and I don't think, I've seen all the athletes pull up, I've seen them. Asaf and Johan Blake pull up. I don't think I've ever seen. I know he's been hurt, and then he would have, you know, he would miss a race and he would have to go to the doctor. But I think I don't think I've ever seen him or Shelly Ann pull up. End up on the ground. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever there seen him. There was a writer, I think, from the BBC. I hope I'm right. If not, one of these um, sports writers who's suggesting that perhaps it was mental pressure that got to him that um, when he received the baton and realized he was in third place, it was his mind that couldn't keep up with the rest of the team and that perhaps he really did not pull up, but he gave up. And he did write in the article, he said, I know this is blasphemy, 
but I'm putting it out there as a as a possibility. So yeah. some folks think they don't really believe that yeah. he did pull up. They just saw, you know, given where he was. Even though he never looked like third place to me when he got the bat on. Yeah. They looked like he we were very much in the running when he got it. Yeah. Um, but you still have people who are like, well, he wasn't the greatest and a lot of people weren't on yeah. social media. Obviously, I am not a psychologist. I'm not a medical person, but I feel that he, he put, I, I mean, he's been doing this so long and, and, and every race he runs is, is really up there. Mm -hmm. a, so I don't think. And mm -hmm. Gatlin, by the way, when he was asked if he thought uh, that the, the pre-race delay contributed to Bolt's injury, he said, I believe so. Mm -hmm. He says, knowing how Usain performs, he's always ready. He's always making sure he's not injured, and it's very rare to see Usain injured when it comes to performance. And he did say they really did hold him a long time. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, man. Gatlin was saying yeah. around there, so... By the way, Gatlin also said him don't think him finished yet. We think him went to you see, him, see him running again. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, I think if he wants to, he should. I, I thought he should continue. But from what I've seen here, Do I don't think, think he wants to, to... Funnily enough, because of what I've seen here, I think that's the reason he's going to... Maybe it's just hope against hope. Yeah. But I feel like, you know... He certainly he, can do it. I mean, no, I mean, Gatlin is, what, 35? And was this million damage. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. All right, so over 2,000 pounds of compressed ganja, along with a high-powered rifle, a pickup truck, a minivan, um, seized in Culloden. Culloden is how you pronounce this in West, in West Milan. Never heard of Culloden or Culloden. Okay. He says the job's been valued at eight million dollars. Okay then. Alrighty. Three hundred and seventy-one parcels <laughs> containing compressed ganja. Four That's nice. fifty-gallon drums, a rifle, six large. Plastic bottles of fuel. Mm. Is this the is this the article where they found the sniper rifle, yeah, or is that I another so. one? Look here, what we do? Me done, me done, me done. Mm. done. Is why is why we did? Apparently, they think this is this has something to do with the guns for drugs trade. Um, sniper rifle. Okay. I don't know. What's the last one here now? This is further afield now. Top US military official arrives in South Korea. This is ahead of talks with the country's leader, of course, amid rising tensions on the Korean Peninsula. Sake of guess by who? Our friend there in the middle. Um, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joseph Dunford, arrived at the Osan Air Base. He's scheduled to meet with leaders of US forces Korea and South Korea President Moon Jae-in, um, CNN reports. This is, they say, a long scheduled trip, not arranged in response to the North Korean nuclear threat. I don't know, I don't believe that, um, given what's been happening of late. But um, yeah, so he's there. We'll see what comes from those talks. Certainly you guys would have seen what's been happening in the weekend in Charlottesville in yep. the United States with the... Yep. White unite the right, unite the right rally. I want to say unite the white. Pardon the pun. Ku Klux Klan, white nationalists, neo Nazis coming together to es to essentially say white is right. Done with anybody else. One young lady ended up losing her life. A counter protester, <laughs> which I think is in okay. Sorry. Okay. Simon, Simon, one of his dirty to give me that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not my dress. Cross bill. <laughs> oh, and he also tells me that it's a sweet cake, no baking powder, the total. Thank you, Bridges. <laughs> I prefer the other medicines too. All right. <laughs> you have anything more? No, no, no. <laughs> you no. have any birthday? No. I don't either, but I want to say good morning to Danae Simpson. <clears throat> Danae watches the program. I suspect she's watching now. Her mom works here. Um, at RGR. Mom Nardia works here at RGR. So, Dane, um, I know you're on holiday, you know, so enjoy the rest of it because shh, probably soon finish. So, thanks for watching our show and have a great day today. All right? Um, no, not that. Yeah, all right. Happy birthday, folks. Have a great day. <laughs>